Good morning, boys and girls, the principal's voice said over the intercom. Please stop what you're doing and listen. I have some bad news. Bad news? I stopped looking at a chrysalis hanging in our butterfly net cage. Song Lee stopped drawing symmetrical butterfly wings. Miss Mackle put down her book, The 500 Hats of Bartholomew Cubbins. She was reading us the part where Bartholomew was about to get his head chopped off in the dungeon. Harry kept playing pool on his desk. When he shot a small ball of clay with the eraser end of his pencil, Miss Mackle walked over and caught it. Everyone in room 2B looked at the little silver dots on the intercom box and waited for the principal to continue. Boys and girls, some children at South School are forgetting our school rules. I know it's June. I know summer vacation is just two weeks away, but that's no excuse for bad behavior. From now on, any student who refuses to obey our school rules will... Mr. Cardini paused. Go to the suspension room. Harry and I exchanged looks. I saw it, I whispered to Harry. It looks like a prison. It's the old music room in the basement that smells. I know because the janitor told me. It just has cement walls, no windows. Harry leaned over and whispered, Hey, Doug, let's call it the dungeon. It's got to have a trap door if it's a dungeon, I said. Shh, Miss Mackle shushed. Then she pointed to the intercom box on the wall. If you go to the suspension room, the voice continued, you will do your work there, eat there, and sit there all day. I've hired a teacher to supervise the suspension room, Mr. Scoobhammer. Scoobhammer, I said. His name sounds like a Viking weapon. Or an executioner, Harry said. Then he chopped a ball of clay in half with his ruler.